We're joined now by Allah and her husband, David. And before we talk about this particular instance, Stacy, uh, will you explain to everyone kleptomania, what it means and how it's different than, than what people might assume? Yeah, what kleptomania is, is it's an impulse control disorder where the person literally cannot control their emotions or behaviors in that moment. And so they feel almost like a compulsion to steal things that they don't even need, that they don't even want. And then afterwards, that experience is, is a bit of a relief for them. And they later do feel remorseful about it, but in the moment, it's almost like alcoholism or drug use or gambling, it becomes something that they need a fix for and the stealing is the fix. How do you treat kleptomania? What you do is usually a combination of medication and cognitive behavioral therapy. Part of what's hard is it really is something that in the moment they can't stop. And so it's not like you can follow them around all day. And so you're trying to work with them on pulling back their impulses. Let me ask Ariva this because I, I think there's two sides to this story, and when I read through it, the, the board, the reason that they sided for not reinstating your license is because it wasn't because of the kleptomania, it was because failure to comply with weekly psychotherapy requirements, failure to submit quarterly probation reports, and failure to notify the medical board of return to medicine. And so they were citing these failures as opposed to citing, well, she suffers from kleptomania. And so obviously for me, I tend to err on the side of, you know, practicing medicine is a privilege, and I don't know all the intricacies, I'll admit that. But if there were a concern that these requirements weren't met, the board, aren't they required to say, oh, better be cautious rather than sorry? Yeah, clearly the board has a responsibility, and a part of their responsibility is to protect consumers like me and the audience and everyone that goes to visit a doctor to make sure that doctor is in good standing. Now, I agree. If there are some rules that they set out that will allow you to get your license back, you've got to follow those rules. Did you fail to comply, as, as Travis read off that long list, not going to therapy, not filing your probation reports? Are those things true? No, they're not true. And all they needed to do is ask my probation officers to those questions. It's not. It's an error on their part. It's not true. Actually, I had three experts, two um, evaluations by their own psychiatrist, and my psychiatrist who was treating me for more than 10 years. And each of them, after extensive questioning, they all said that I'm not a danger to society and I should be allowed to practice medicine. But yeah, then with the medical, well, I, Bala, the, I'm, I'm curious, and this is where I'm just, I, I want to get to the bottom of the story. We, we're, we're getting one side, so I, I honestly can't say. I don't know what truly went down, but the medical board, they said that they had a second psychiatrist that said you didn't meet treatment requirements and, and advised against getting your license. So it sounds like there were various psychiatrists recommending different things. And, I, and honestly, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to believe. You know, I, I do know this. Clearly, this is something you want to do. And I just have to believe in my heart that there's a way to get to a resolution. If the issue for you is meeting these requirements, not the fact that you suffer from kleptomania, then, then I, I see there could be, it just seems like there's potential here, but maybe we're not there yet. And you know, and, and it's, it's a tough it's job difficult. for medical boards. We did reach out to the medical board for a statement. What they had to say was this, the Medical Board of California's primary goal is consumer protection. The board, wherever possible, will take action that aids in a physician's rehabilitation. And if we feel a physician can safely continue to practice while being monitored with terms and conditions, we will allow them to do so under probation. Unfortunately, in Dr. Zander's case, she failed probation more than once indicating that it was unsafe for us to allow her to continue to practice, which is why her license was revoked. That is from Cassandra Hawkinson, JD Public Affairs Manager, Medical Board of California. Um, the one thing I think we will all agree is we appreciate your openness and honesty, Allah, with this. Um, we wish you the best of luck. Right. I want to thank Stacy. I want to thank Ariva so much for joining us. We'll be right back.